Hello, Facebook. If you're joining us live on Facebook, you are here for the Casadelli Library DIY No Sew Face Mask Workshop. So go get your t-shirt, go get your sharp scissors, go get your piece of paper and some wipes to wipe down your workspace if you have them. If you don't, that's fine. But if you have them, let's use them. So I'm also live on Instagram. So you may see me doing a little bit of this dance coming into the Facebook video. So <laughs> just so you know what's going on. Okay. Let's go ahead and get started. So uh, if, if I didn't introduce myself, my name is Kelsey from Kelsey Library. Hello, I hope you all are well, doing okay during this time. I know it's a crazy time, um, but hopefully you're all okay. If you need anything from the library, please reach out and let us know any way that we can assist you while we're out on this crazy time that we're experiencing all together. Um, Hopefully, this will be an easy way to get a mask in your hands, a fabric mask that we should all be wearing when we're going outside. Um, so yeah, let's get started. Okay, so we want to take our shirt and put everything aside for now so that we can wipe down our workspace. If you have the wipes, use them to wipe your workspace down. Wipe this down without moving the camera too much. <laughs> okay, so I'm also going to wipe down our scissors here and then just kind of make sure my hands are okay too. Okay, so now we're going to get our t shirt here. So I have a shirt I'm willing to cut up because this is going to ruin it. If so, don't get, you know, your sister's $60 t-shirt, designer shirt. Go get one that is going to go in the trash. <laughs> and we're going to cut this up, okay? So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to cut the sleeves off. Now, we're going to try, after we make this one, to make one from the sleeves. So don't throw them away, but just put them aside for now. So we're going to cut just to the left of this seam of the sleeves. So we wanna leave this dark seam here on the shirt. So we're gonna cut just to the left of that seam. Cutting these off also makes it a little easier to work with. Um, when you're like flipping stuff around, it's a little smaller, just easier to handle. If you ask a question in the chat and I don't get to it, ask it again, because <laughs> I have a helper here helping me out, Hello. <laughs> <laughs> but we may miss it. So just keep asking if you have a question, I promise we'll get to it. So we're going to cut both sleeves off just to the side of that seam so that your shirt seam here should be still attached. Okay, so then now you have uh, the front side up. If you have a graphic and you want the graphic um, on, your, on your mask, then leave that up. Okay, so you got the sleeves off. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to cut up this middle seam of the t-shirt um you can just use the mask like you're gonna need two layers so you could just not cut up the seams and you could just use this front here but i wanted to use just the front so i'm gonna cut up this seam here and that's gonna give me half of the t-shirt so what we can do is lay this out and then where this sleeve ends here you can just kind of pinch it and you'll find that midpoint of your t-shirt. So there's the front and there's the back, and this is my middle seam. So I'm gonna wanna cut up this middle seam to get the shirt cut in half. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna just tuck it in there, and then we're gonna cut up this here. Okay. So my right side is cut off, and now I'm going to cut off the left, or cut up the left middle part here. Okay. 
Okay. All right, so we now have two big pieces. We're not gonna cut, we're not gonna cut this top seam, so it is still gonna be attached, but now you can kind of lift away this back portion. And you're just gonna have this front portion here. So I wanted my graphic here to be the front of my mask. So I'm gonna take my paper and we're gonna lay that down on top here. You can do it, you know, like off center if you want or this way or whatever, but just know that this is the mask front. So if you're gonna turn it, then it's gonna turn the front of your mask, just so you know. Okay, and then I'm gonna fold up this bottom. Because remember, we need two layers until it hits the bottom of that paper. And I'm gonna pull this out so I can see what the heck I'm doing. And you're gonna put this uh, paper back on the fold. So the bottom of your paper is here at the fold. Let's see if I have a question. Okay. No, it's okay, we love you. All right, so then we're gonna cut around this paper uh, from the fold edge. So from this bottom fold, you're gonna cut a square, a rectangle out of this area here, okay? If you have a sharp, like I, my shirt's black, so if you have a Sharpie or a pen, you can make uh, a box around it to help you, but you know, this is protection, not perfection that we're going for, so <laughs> it's really not necessary to get uh, really crazy with our measurements here. So just go ahead and start cutting all the way around. Everyone doing okay out there? <laughs> Send me an emoji of what you're feeling right now during this time. <laughs> I miss campus, I miss the library, but I know it's for a good reason and we'll be back to normal before you know it, hopefully. You know, times are tough right now, but we'll get there. Okay, so, okay, so we should have, you should have now your square that you've cut out from your shirt. So put aside the rest of it now and take this paper away. And then now you, so now you have a folded piece here, but we're gonna cut up that fold because we want uh, two pieces here. So we're gonna turn our fabric and we're gonna cut along this fold here. Everybody good? If you have a question, just go ahead and put it uh, in the chat. And my helper, April, say hello, April. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, uh, we will do our best to try and, and read it. We do have an emoji shared. Oh, what's our emoji? My photos y recuerdos. Photos y recuerdos. I love that song. Sad face, sad oh, face. sad face. It's okay. We'll get through it. <laughs> Okay, so here we have our rectangle now of our material. It should be two pieces kind of stuck together. So now what we're going to do is we're going to cut little seam holes here along the sides where we're going to put our ties in. So we're going to cut five. So what I would recommend is starting at the middle so that you don't like do one and then you're like two, three, oh, I have no more room for five. Like I would start in the middle. So what we're going to do is we're going to make five. That would mean one in the middle two at the ends and then two in between those. So we'll start in the middle and you wanna cut these holes through both of your fabrics. So we're gonna pinch and we're just gonna snip. Okay, so we snipped and we got a little hole there through both the fabrics. I'm gonna make sure it goes through. So we're gonna do the same on the other side. Again, this is protection, not perfection. So it does not have to be beautiful. It just has to be good enough to get you to the market, to Starbucks drive through <laughs> whatever you're doing that you have to go outside, uh, even though you should not be going outside too often. 
you know, it does have to happen every now and then. I do have a question from Victorious. I know we have to wear masks, but why is the disease airborne? That is a good question for a medical professional. Unfortunately, I don't know the answer to that. I really don't know. Uh, in California here, we are required to wear fabric masks when we go outside. So I would look on the CDC website. I have no knowledge about anything in regards to the disease itself, anything like that. So yeah, unfortunately, the only answer to that. Okay, so you should have five um, seam holes on each side. So you did the one in the middle, and then you did, let me see where I get the camera here, <laughs> the one in the middle, and then you did the one at the top, the one at the bottom, and then you split the difference and you put two more on each side. Does that make sense? Is it better to use cotton fabric for masks? Yes, you should use 100% cotton um, for your masks. And then I would recommend putting some sort of non-porous filter, like a coffee filter, paper towel, things like that. These are not medical grade, so it's not, you know, replacing a medical grade mask, but those should be reserved for medical professionals. This is just for protection when we go outside. I do have the CDC guidelines of how it's spread or how it's thought to spread if you want to share that. Or... Yeah, so we'll just say they should go visit that site. Yeah, so just go visit CDC if you have any questions about COVID-19 itself. CDC.gov. CDC.gov. Thank you, April. <laughs> Okay, so we have the front of our mask done. Uh, we're not going to do the ties. So we can put this aside just for a moment because I don't have a lot of space on my table here. So if we grab our back of our shirt again, we're going to make ties out of the back portion of our shirt. So this was the back of my shirt that I didn't use. I cut up the front. So that's the front. So what I'm going to do now is make ties. So you want to take this back portion, and we're going to actually cut this bottom uh, hem off because it's a little bulky, and we're going to try to make another mask out of the sleeve. Uh, we're going to try is the key word. <laughs> uh, and we can use this bottom hem for the sleeve mask. So we'll go ahead and cut this bottom hem off. So you'll see at the bottom of your shirt, there's a sewing line here. You want to cut off just to the side of that. Is anybody cutting along here with me? Put, uh, put a scissors emoji if you're cutting along with me. <laughs> if you're doing this, if you're actually cutting along with me right now, live and in person, I wanna know. Put a scissors emoji if you're cutting along with me. <laughs> so we're gonna cut this bottom hem off. If you're using scissors that aren't super sharp, this may take you a little while. <laughs> okay, so now you have your bottom hem here. So we're gonna just put that aside for now. Okay, so now we're gonna cut two um, one inch wide strips for the straps. I am, I can't find the emoji. Okay, that's all right. <laughs> Thank you for, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so again, we don't need to get perfect here. An inch is about, you know, that wide. So we're going to just kind of eyeball it and we're going to try to go as straight as possible up this seam, or uh, sorry, sorry, across this fabric um, for our strap. So that's about like that, I would say. We're going to go ahead and start cutting here. How are classes going on Zoom? I want to know. You guys doing okay with those? You like online learning? Let me know in the comments how it's going. So we're going to keep cutting here all the way to the end. Okay. So we have one strip, and now we just need one more. So I'm gonna, it's like falling off the table. Here we go. 
Okay. All right, so we're going to do one more. Oh my gosh, do you think like the next trend in fashion will be all these cut up t shirts? Oh, <laughs> maybe, <laughs> huh? Yeah. From them. We're just going to go out with our crop top. Yeah. This is my t shirt scrap. <laughs> It would be very sustainable. I would wholeheartedly support um, cut up t shirt fashion as like the next trend. Yeah. Oh, I just be so Yeah, right. Okay, so we have our two strips here. These are going to be our ties. Okay, so we can put aside the rest of the shirt for now. We'll work on that in a minute. Go back to our fabric square that we have here. Not too bad, it takes me to, but I'm managing. Good, glad to hear it. All right, now comes the weaving portion of the project. So we have these holes here uh, along the sides of your front of your mask here. And we're gonna take these fabric strips and we're gonna weave them through. So lay your fabric flat. And what you wanna do is take your strip and first go under that first hole here. So I'm going to take the end of my strip. Oh, I think it's okay. It'll, it'll, it kind of expands. Yeah, thank you, though. I'm going to go up through like this. Up through. We're going to pull it. Make sure everybody can see that. Pull it. And then we're going to go down through the next one. It's going to be like an over and under situation. So we're going to go up through the first one and then down through the second one. And then just continuing that all the way down. How's everything going? It's going great. We're making a mask here. Hopefully you can join us. Then we're gonna go up through that third one, just like we did on the first one. Okay, keep pulling your fabric tie here. We're gonna go down through that fourth one. Okay, and then up through the fifth one. All right, so there's our tie. And the same thing on the other side. So we're gonna go up through the first one. If you can't see something or want me to redo something, let me know too. Um, we are going on two cameras here, Instagram and then hello Facebook. <laughs> so if I miss something, I'm trying to make sure I'm in the shot for everything here. So I'm gonna go down through that second one. It's the small one, down. Up through the third one. I'm going to pull the tie a little bit more so it's a little tighter. Down through the fourth. And then up through the fifth. All right, so now this is looking a little bit more like a mask, right? So we're just going to pull these ties so they're kind of even. You want to make sure you got about the same amount here on top as you do on the bottom there. And then we're just gonna bunch this up. So we're gonna pull these, kind of bunch it. This is kind of how you get your pleats situation happening here. So pull this here, pull it from the bottom. Get your little thing going on here. Okay, so you're pretty much done essentially here. Uh, you can tie these off if you want to do like an over the ear situation where you, you know, you have it and it's over your ear. I kind of like the tying from the tying from, you know, back of the head and around the neck. So you can do that where you kind of me get down here so both videos can see me. <laughs> so you can just put it on here and then you're going to tie around the back of your head like that. And then you can just kind of adjust it here, make it a little tighter if you want. 
and then tie these bottom ones around the back of your neck. So we're gonna go with that and then just kind of you know readjust make sure that it's comfortable that it's tight on your face tight enough that it doesn't come down but it's also comfortable so we have here the seams here and that's pretty much it so that's your your face mask with ties. Like I said, you can also do the around the ear kind. Um, let me get this off. I don't really recommend around the ear with this style because it's not elastic, so it may fall off. But you could, you know, take these two ties here, make a small loop, you know, knot it and then use this loop here in the side to go around the ear and do it that way. And then the same thing on the other side, you know, around, make your loop like that. It does, it does stay, but me personally, it feels, it feels more secure tied around the back. So that's what I would recommend for this style. So that's, that's your mask from your shirt. Uh, we have stuff left over, so I did look up how to make one with the sleeves. Uh, I haven't made it before, so this will be experimental for all of us, but we'll try that. That's your first mask. <laughs> so let's get the stuff for your second one. Okay, so get those sleeves that you cut off. Two sleeves here. Came out great, good, love to see it, love to hear it. All right, so you have your two sleeves here. And then what you're going to do is you want to open them up so that there is a seam here along the bottom of the sleeve. There's a seam right here. So this is the top of the sleeve, right? Like this. There's a seam here at the bottom. So you want to open up that sleeve so you have this seam at the bottom. And... You want to turn your sleeve around so it's kind of like a bell shape or like a skirt or dress shape almost so that you have the edge of your sleeve here at the top and then the portion where you cut this rounded edge here is going to be at the bottom okay so you want to put both of your sleeves like that and then you're going to nestle them inside of each other so we're going to put this one like this as well my sleeve already <laughs> Part of the reason why I was cutting it up was because the sleeve ripped, so my seam is a little wonky, but that's okay. Protection, not perfection, is what's important. <laughs> so we're going to take one of these sleeves and you're going to stuff it inside the other one, just so they're kind of laying, on, laying uh, inside of each other, like this. Okay. You got both your sleeves now are together in one little kind of tube looking thing. Okay, so we're gonna lay these down. Because my seam is ripped, it makes it a little harder to kind of manipulate, but okay, pretty much there. All right, so now we wanna take those things that we cut off earlier. So this was the bottom seam of our t-shirt, that bottom portion of the back, I think it was. And then we're going to also cut out the collar. So if you get your scraps back, we have our collar still here intact, so we're going to cut this off. And you don't have to keep it um, in a circle. Actually, you the, the reverse, you want to make sure you cut it into a strip. So I'm going to find, there's a seam here where it's um, sewn. So I'm going to cut right on that seam so I don't make another area of weakness, you know? So we're gonna cut this seam right here. And then I'm gonna cut right below, right below that uh, seam line. So this seam right here with the collar, right here with the collar, I'm gonna cut right below that. It's black, kinda hard to see. So we're gonna go around. 
And we're going to cut this collar off. So really, you could get quite a few uh, masks out of one t-shirt, depending on how big it is. Um, this sleeve one, obviously, you'll only get one, but you could probably do the first version of the mask that we made a few times from one shirt. And, you know, this is just for going outside briefly. You know, this is not medical grade, um, but it will get you to the market and back. You know what I mean? Jelly bean. <laughs> okay, so here's your collar. Thank you so much for the tutorial for someone talk. Great. Perfect. Glad to hear it. <laughs> uh, this will be up on our page after we're done live. So if you can't make it or you don't, you know someone who wanted to make it but couldn't um, or want to share it with your family or friends, you can do so uh, from our page. Okay, so now we have our sleeves here and our two straps. Now we're gonna weave these two into the sides of the sleeves. So we're gonna open up our little sleeve tube here and we're gonna put these straps along the inside. Like that. And like this. so that they're about even. So you have the, make sure I'm in the shot. <laughs> so you have the uh, sleeves here that are about essentially the same size, pretty much. If I, I had an extra, I think it was extra large too. So you may have to adjust depending on what size your shirt was, but anyway. Okay, so then if you have any kind of filter, if you have like a coffee filter or a paper towel or anything, you can stick that here. So I'm gonna grab one of my paper towels. That's pretty decent size. We're gonna fold it and I'm just gonna put it in here. Again, these are not medical grade, but they are fabric, 100% cotton, um, and they're, they're what we need as non-medical professionals when we go out. So I'm gonna pull this up a little bit because you're gonna tuck this curved corner. You're just gonna kind of tuck that into the inside of the seam right here. Like a little diaper, like a little envelope. Okay, so you'll see this one is a little bit less secure than the first one that we made, but it will do for the situation. It will be enough to get you to the market or something. So. For this one, I recommend you're gonna kind of lean this against your chest and then tie the back one. This one you can't do, I wouldn't recommend doing around the ears because your filter will fall out. <laughs> so I did around the neck and then I'm gonna pull these and go up around the face and then pull it and then around the back of the head. So you can tie that back tie back here and then just kind of adjust it here. So let's tie this. Okay. And then you may have to like readjust your bottom one to tighten it a little bit. But that's it. So that's that's the one from two sleeves and then the collar and the bottom hem of your t-shirt. So yeah, those are our two masks that we made from the front of our shirt, some pieces of the back and then our two short sleeves and our bottom t-shirt hem and our collar. So that's pretty much it. Hope you guys had fun. <laughs> A little craft break in the middle of your day. Uh, so I'm Kelsey from the Cal State LA Library for just joining us. Um, if you have any questions, just shoot them now into the chat. Otherwise, please stay safe out there. Um, let us know if these worked for you. Uh, send us a selfie of you wearing your homemade mask. Tag us at Cassie LA Library 
on Instagram, Casa Ellie Lib on Facebook. Uh, let us know how they turned out. Share with your family and friends. And have a good rest of your day. Stay safe. We miss you. Hang in there. Let us know if you need anything. Will this be posted on Instagram? Yes, I think Instagram, it will be um, a live story. So it'll be up there for as long as that lasts. But I think I may be able to export the one from Facebook as a video and then like repost it as a video. So we'll try and figure that out, but we'll figure the technology portion of this out. <laughs> we'll get it up there as soon as we can. So thank you so much for coming and talk to you guys later. Bye.